Welcome to the greatest showdown in the Linux desktop environment. Today we are having the Titans. On one side we have GNOME 46 and in the other we have KDE. I am going to judge these desktop environments in six different categories. By the end of it we will have the desktop king to rule them all. The categories are desktop philosophy, visual appeal, customizations, applications, performance, stability, and the final grade. So buckle your seatbelts, we're going on a journey to discover the best Linux desktop environment. First up, we have desktop philosophy. First of all, I want you to follow along and give a grade for your own in each category and comment down below the result. Let's see which is your favorite desktop environment. Okay, KDE's desktop philosophy is based on having a lot of customizations and user control. It offers also a traditional desktop experience with familiar layout, panels, menus, etc. On the other hand, GNOME's philosophy is focused on a minimalistic and clean aesthetic and prioritizes simplicity and user experience through a streamlined workflow. The GNOME workflow is unique in the desktop space. You can say it's one of kind. That's why I'm giving my point to GNOME in this category. When it comes to visual appeal, both offer compelling options. With KDE offering the traditional desktop user experience and extensive customization options for themes, widgets, and layouts. So KDE offers the most customizations and straightforward design. It will feel at home for users used to Windows and Mac OS. But I got to say, it does not offer anything new. GNOME, on the other hand, offers a completely new way to use your desktop. With the hot corners, a top bar, and a dock, GNOME shines in multitasking with the dynamic virtual desktops nested in the overview, nested in the overview screen. And also GNOME looks minimal and focuses on clean lines, large fonts, and uncluttered workspaces. It also has the GTK widget toolkit for creating graphical user interfaces. It's far cleaner than the QT that KDE uses. So for this one, for the simplicity and clean user experience, I'm giving this one also to GNOME. The third category is customization. For customization, there is no doubt that KTE offers more customization than GNOME. So without any further ado, KDE gets this point. And with that, the score is now two for GNOME and one point for KDE. Let's see if this next category brings KDE up. The category is applications. As we all know, both GNOME and KDE offer applications created on their respective toolkit. KDE offers more professional applications like KDE and Live, although GNOME offers GIMP, but it's based on old version of GTK. Both offer solid options for applications. For the professional applications, I'm going to go with KDE here. When it comes to performance, I am giving this also to KDE. Because it uses less resources, it's also more performant. That doesn't take from the fact that GNOME is also very performant. But in my opinion, KDE gets the point here. As for stability, obviously that GNOME is more stable than KDE. And with the new release of KDE 6, things are a bit buggy. So I'm giving this point to GNOME. So who won? 
in this battle for me i would say gnome would be slightly better than kde because of the stability and the clean design but everyone will have their own opinion on this so if you followed along with this video you will have all also your points so comment down below who won for you thanks for watching and as you know i work hard on these videos and i would appreciate it if you subscribe like this video thank you peace